Yeah, they're definitely ready. Oh, 100%. Definitely have a little look, see what's going on. We should have a little look, see for sure. Have you seen any movement? Only zombies. Where? Outside of piano on the back side. Oh, bro, you can get that right in there. That's really good. One dead. Good shit, boys. Yeah, I'm holding it. I know, I know. What does it take to be unreadable? Well, to answer that question, I'm gonna have to take you back to the very beginning. But just before that, the sponsor of today's video, Salad, which is a computer sharing community that can help you earn back some of the nails you've spent on your crazy gaming setup. Liar! Well, okay, no, Salad can't get you those precious nails. You're gonna have to go and find those by yourself. But if you own an RTX 3060 graphics card or better, you can become a Salad Power user and earn up to $200 a month in rewards by helping the world with massive computing projects. Your computer's hard work is rewarded with games, gift cards, gaming hardware and other epic loot. So when you're not out in Chinaris hoarding all of those precious nails, start up the Salad app, become a Salad Chef and cook up some rewards. Make sure you click the link in the description below to get started today. A massive thank you to Salad for sponsoring today's video. And now, let's get back to where this all started. All the way back to day one, where I had loaded into the server for the very first time since it had last wiped, with the sole intention of answering that very question. What does it take to become unraidable? Oh, oh my fucking god. That's it. That's the start I needed, you know. That is exactly what I needed. Holy shit. Oh, I can see the comments already. <laughs> That's cool, though. Free cord lock, man. But to make this challenge a little more interesting, I had decided to attempt this with only vanilla building at our disposal. So as a result of that, my first priority had to be getting a door down somewhere so we could begin stockpiling all of those valuable building materials that we were going to need. So with no time to waste, I started making the treacherous journey inland. No, nice zombie, I'm sorry. This has been looted recently, damn. Well... Bro, I have nothing, man. Honestly, we could talk about this. Maybe. Hello, sir. Bro, I, I'm gonna be honest. I have a crowbar. Please don't shoot us if I come down, but I have a crowbar. And that's all I have. I'm gonna believe you. I'm gonna come down. And I'm not... I'm fresh, bro. I'm fresh. Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> I, I don't wanna... Wait, bro, I just came here for a gun, but there's nothing here, man. I heard you stepping upstairs, and I was like, oh shit, there is someone in here. <laughs> Thank you for being friendly, man. I appreciate that. There's, I don't think no, there's much here, here, but... Here, take this, take this. Oh, bro. You got nothing in it, yeah. Thank you, bro. I appreciate that, man. All right, dude. What's your name? Oh, my name's Ben. Ben, I'm Crash Bandicoot, bro. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, too, dude. Good luck. Good luck, bro. You too. See you later, man.
After quite a close call, I decided to leave the spawn area for Bentaloot and figured it would be best to just continue on with my plan to find all the materials we'd need to secure this starter base, while my buddy Nipson also got to work on making his way inland. I feel very undergeared for how far inland I am, it's not good. Ooh. Shotgun. Okay, no ammo though. But Nipson had clearly had a better run in land than I did, and on our way north, together we had gathered just about enough materials to set our starter base down. So with everything going to plan so far, we made our way to the town of Lopatino, where I knew of a church that had the perfect foundations for the design that I had in mind. But we'll get into that a little bit later on. After all, we are about 10 days late into this wipe, and the space spot might not even be free for the taking. There she is. There's a church I see in the distance. Home sweet home. It is, buddy. Imagine someone's plunked the base down in there, I'd be so sad. Oh, the sheet metal, five of it. We should get that once we've got the base down. That's insane that. I think it's uh it's free. Right, I'm gonna go chopping wood bro. It's me time. Oh I need me shotgun shells though. Bro, the logs are like five nautical miles away from the base. We are sealed. That was pretty much all the building we could do until we came across some more nails. But on to more pressing matters for now, as we didn't really have anything too valuable in our base right now. And well, we weren't exactly running the best gear sets either. So when we heard some shots over at the Northwest Airfield, we couldn't resist heading over to check it out. Hello, Bashnaya. Give stuff, please, man. I beg. I want to just try and find a vest, and I'm happy. I feel naked without a vest. Honestly, though, I think a zombie is the way you're gonna get one around here. Oh, I got mine. You didn't even find a stash. Oh, there's one here. Speaking of stashes, search stash. Yes, man. Just what I was after. Ooh, bad juice. Once we'd scooped up everything we could get our hands on, we headed away from Bashnaya and back towards base to quickly depot. But trying to leave the airfield would be a lot easier said than done. Wait, get behind us. Get Where? behind us. Here, here, here. Oh, here at the barn. Here at the barn. Here at the barn. Long barn. Inside? Inside, yep. He's peeking out the door. I don't want to shoot yet. Just uh, right out. Same. There's two. There's two. 100% two. One might be dead. Yeah, he's, he's dead or uncon. Where'd the other one go? He's still in the he shut the door, he shut yeah, the door, he shut the, the door. door. Run! Push, my children, push! <laughs> <laughs> push! He could be running out the other side, the door is open. I'm gonna try and get eyes on the other side, maybe. If someone he's, can... He's peeking oh. the crack, peeking the crack on the right. He's uh, shooting suppress. No eyes on him. Outside, outside on the right. He's dead. Two dead. Let's fucking go, bro. They're kitted too. Oh, the all, oh, bro. The all oh, kitted as well, though. Six around mags and shit, bro. Once again, filling our inventories full of loot, we continued on heading back towards our starter base. However, our area was about to start bursting into life. Oh, Son of a fucking bitch. Wait, are we stashing going for that? Or do you want to run back to base? We should start. Is it at this red barn? Yeah, it is. 
I see them, they're moving out. They're gonna be coming like here. Keep an eye out there. I've just seen them move past the electrical hut. Oh no, they're in the barn now. Yeah. This is a bad way to push, but. I think they just. Oh no, I see it. Nah, nah, they're coming towards you. Towards me? Kind of. They're, they're still there, in front, on the wall in front of me. I think I just see them. Shit. Sure. Yeah, on me. Should be dead. There's another one. Same. Please shoot him. Mm, oh! I, I just shot. Just... I'm dead. There's four. There's another one. Close by, by the wall. Yeah, I'm moving. Kill two. Are you alright, JB? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. I'm second left. I'm gonna die. That's him, I think. I'm, wide plate, I'm so. dead! Oh, GG's. GG's. A pretty unfortunate ending to a run we actually kind of needed. But we couldn't resist trying to win ourselves some more loot. And well, that's the gamble you take sometimes. But with it starting to get quite late now, we headed back up to Lopatino to log off with what little loot we had left. And that's when we were about to get presented with an opportunity that could end our time here early. I think somebody's raiding in Vavilovo. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Why do you see that, my friend? Yeah, uh, because there have been shots there since restart, and it's been loads of automatic shots. I hear them. We should go check that out, you know. Definitely have a little look, see, see what's going on. A big group. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah, they're definitely raiding. Have you seen any movement? Only zombies. Where? Outside of piano on the back side. For sure, this is the door. Yeah. Yeah. Has to be. They're inside. How do we do this? You got a smoke grenade, have you? Yeah. You should try and throw it as far as you can throw it, I guess. That's really good. Got the plate carrier get back so I can go in front of you. Okay, bro. Don't know how to do this one, buddy. Oh, he's on me. One dead. Good shit, boys. I'm yeah, dead. I'm holding. I know, I know. How many bullets was on that AK? Full, full mag on my AK. Okay. I'm using it. Fuck, I got the shittiest spawn possible. I'm gonna try something here, yeah, it's gonna get us killed, but I need to do it.
Amen. I don't know what to do. Actually. He's parched. I've had to leave. What a play. This time. He's still alive. He is. Yeah. Sorry, boys. I'm not losing this opportunity. I'm getting inside this fucking base. You're good, man. I'm in. I'm in the base. He moved. Hmm. <coughs> He's a thirsty boy. He's been thirsty for a minute as well. He'd be losing health. Wear him down. <laughs> so Killed him, he's dead. Let's fucking go, bro. That is insane. You killed him, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I did it. I'm coming in. Come in, come in, come in. I'm ogling at all the loot right now. Oh, man. Is it loaded? Oh, bro. Well, I mean, it's loaded. It is. In loaded bro loaded we need to get this out of here right now no messing about we need to leave with stuff I've got a bag full of nails and claymores two VSDs 12 13 boxes of nails bro what the fuck? 13 boxes of nails but it wasn't over just yet we had to secure as much of this valuable loot as we could before these guys came back or even worse still before somebody could follow us home from this raid Right, I'm leaving. Nipson, you need to like, really be on it. Yeah, hold it down, bro. Yeah, yes, you got sir. this. Right, I'm leaving. I hope there's nobody out here waiting for us. I'm pretty sure I heard a player out there. Ah, I hope you don't say stuff like that. Oh! Where's he at? He's hit like twice. Bro, we need to move. Let us in, let us in, let us in. See, see if you can go in. Alright, we're getting held. Right, I'm gonna smoke it. Alright, we need to get back. We need to be quick here though.
I got one more. Right. Ah, fitting it. Don't know where it is. Dead. There's another one. Where? Behind the car. Dead, both dead. Let's go, baby. That was the play, boys. That was the play. Oh, yes, sir. We need to get this loot and leave, though, yeah? Right, bro. That was a fing play. Okay, we're good. We're one. We need to leave. No way. What a win, man. And what a win it was. But since we have just slingshotted our way to riches, now is probably a good time to start letting you in on what I have planned for this base. And boy, did we have our work cut out for us on this one. You see, I've played this game as the underdog for many years now, constantly devising new methods to help me survive alongside all these bigger groups. But today, I might have just thought of a design that could potentially top them all. Today, to reach the ultimate goal of becoming unraidable in DayZ, I wanted to create one of the most complex base designs that I could come up with, while trying to defy the restrictions of vanilla building in the process. But since we have just made a pretty bold first impression on whom we can only assume to be a neighbouring clan, after a loss like that, it would surely only be a matter of time before somebody came looking. So, our first priority had to be getting some basic fortifications down first. We now had a race against time. Could we fortify our base? Or would we get found before we even got that chance? Yeah, this is going to be a pain. We're cooking, boys. We're cooking. Juicy base over here in this industrial area. Interesting. Uh, it's not quite juicy. They're working on making it juicy, I should say. Oh, in that <laughs> industrial area. Mhm. Mm Interesting. Well, that makes a lot of sense. We need to investigate that. This could be a problem. An active clan living just a few hundred meters away from our two-door base. Something we had clearly missed when we first arrived in this area. Oh my fucking god. Dude. <laughs> oh, it's not built up. Yeah, it's not built up yet. <sighs> we need to have a rough idea on how many doors these guys have, you know. That's not what I wanted to see. But could this be them? Could this be the clan who we had bumped into when we first moved in at the Lopatino Kivu? And the very same clan who we encountered at that offline raid? Well, it was going to be difficult to say for sure. But given the Kivu's only a few hundred metres away from this base, combined with the fact that these guys had clearly refragged after we'd killed them at the counter raid, we certainly had our suspicions. So for now, being so close to a clearly active clan, further push the urgency to fortify. <laughs> We're gonna need some juice. We're gonna need to build. 
How many planks you got? Six. Thank you very much. But it was clear Lopatino wasn't just ours anymore. In fact, I don't think it ever was. I was not expecting to find a base like that so close to us. Yeah, that was interesting, that, bro. That's not good. Oh, car, 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 pull it up in town. Car, right here. I'm coming. They're pushing us. Yeah, yeah. There's two. One's pushing left, one's on the right. Hit that. one. One's on con. He's dead. One more. Where though? Next to green mustache. Yeah, he's running. Yep. He's, he's right here. He disappeared this way. Yeah, okay. Lock cabin, lock cabin. I'm on con. He should be on con. He's dead. As if our situation wasn't edgy enough, we just got hand delivered a fully working car and probably annoying another clan in the process. I mean, we weren't complaining either, but when we really needed to focus on building, trouble just kept seeming to find us. And this was only going to be the tip of the iceberg. But since it was getting late, JB had decided to log off, while me and Nipson continued building through into the night. Yeah, there is some nice peaks for vanilla. Crazy good. I mean, I haven't played a lot of vanilla, but I've never seen anyone build peaks with vanilla building, to be honest with you. And after a little while of building, our base was starting to come along nicely. So I wanted to switch my focus back to finishing the construction of our flagpole, which would allow us to claim this territory and prevent players dismantling any weak points on the base. But since we had been playing for quite a while now, I quickly went AFK to make some food. And this is where everything started to fall apart. Where? Where? You ready? I'm hit. Door shut. We're good. <coughs> you call you muted, bro. I can't see how weird you're saying. I'm on con. He just smoked me. Yeah. Oh, I'm dead. Jesus Christ. He's in the tree line right in front of base behind the red house. Sit, sat in a bush. I don't see him, you know. He's on con. I 
a Monk Hunt. GG's. Move. Monk Hunt again, I'm dead. There was two of them on us. Fuck. We might be getting raided. Now, at this point, I wasn't actually too worried. But of course, the thought had crossed my mind. But we had got some vital base building done, and we now had three doors, two of which were sheet metal, so I found it very unlikely any clan would risk putting our doors through, especially when we aren't exactly running any crazy gear sets. But there it was. What if this was the clan in the industrial yard, back from the coast, and looking for revenge? Bro, we need to get back at the SAP. Well, we haven't been raided, but there's a kid here in town. I just saw him. I don't know where he went. We might be getting raided. Oh, yeah. They, they shot it out of our front door so far. Oh, no way. Yeah, they have. Are you good? Oh, no, they're in. They went through the wall. What? What? Yeah. It's the fucking industrial guys. It has to be them. They're pushing. Come here. Who's there? Who's there? He was on the north side of the church last night. Ooh. What the fuck? Is that me getting shot or are you getting shot? Me. I don't see him anyway. Got it all. They're gonna wait out reset and try and get in here before us. Okay, so they shot the way through. They actually raided with fully through gate to gate. Yeah. Raided. Yep. And then they dismantled after that. But we did still have one underlying factor that would allow us to pinpoint exactly where this group could live. I'll be the Ada. All we had to do was find the car that we had originally stolen from the group that's just raided us. And well, if my suspicions are right think we already know exactly where we need to be looking. Oh buddy. <laughs> You're not gonna believe it but... What? Tell me there's a white car there. Uh huh. I think I've found the guys bro. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm gonna find out right now. But that looks like a car. That looks like the roof of a car. Let's find out. Alright, uh, tell you what, maybe I can see off this. Oh, buddy. This is them. This is who really was. It was them? It was these guys. The raid before they log off, eh? Is it still wood there, yeah? Yeah. Our fucking code locks are still here, too. You see the front door for now, so we've got somewhere to store the loot. Oh, at this point, our situation wasn't looking too good. But luckily, with what was left behind, we could just about scrape together enough materials to seal off our church for the night. And after a pretty eventful end of day three, that brings us to the start of day four. Now, I guess you could say everything had kind of came full circle. I mean, we had took a pretty insane snowball counter in their little offline raid and took another insane win when we'd stolen their car. So it's no surprise that these guys had finally decided to get rid. But we now had an issue. If we continued to stay here, we'd more than likely just keep getting raided before we'd even get the chance to build back up again. 
and as fruitful as Lopatino had been for us, I felt like it was the right decision for us to try and get situated somewhere else. But since we were back to square one, I headed over to the trusty old airfield to see if we could kickstart this adventure again. All we need to move is a box of nails. I believe we've got everything we need to move. We just need a box of nails. Shots up north, that's what I wanted, bro. Sounded like bash. Point five out, but I'm as fast as I can. Palms. Fuck. I'm getting hit hard. His gun's ruined. What do you believe? I'm on con, no. No, I'm on con. I killed two. There's one left. Last one. I'm dead. I picked up his gun and it was ruined. That's what got me killed there, you know. That's fucked. It bears, you know, have a little run, but... With so much loot on the line, I scrambled off the coast and made my way back and land as fast as I possibly could. Right, bro. I am, yeah. Let's hope and pray there's some luck on my side, man. Bodies are gone. I gotta say, our 550 Savannah though. It could be worse. Could be worse. And I got a shotgun, but shotgun's got one bullet in. I'm gonna go and check your body now. It'll be fair. It was on the body. Well, I'm trapped inside a barrack surrounded by zombies because they did an aggro on him and I missed my shot, apparently. Oh my god, there's so much there. Oh my god, there's so much there. It's the zombies that are the issue, honestly. It before it reset. Four time, baby. Oh, it is four time as well. Loaded. Oh my god. I need to leave. I need to get more though, but I do need to try and stash this. Like, I've got a tier 2 key card though. Oh my god. I don't know what to leave and what to take, bro. This is fucked up. Neither do I.
So I've got three level two key cards right now. Kill the guy. That was you? Yeah, I just killed the guy. He was freshy though. I'm gonna try and lock this one up. The kid's in the woods over here. Over here. I see him right here. Running down the road. Two, two. He saw me, I'm on gone. There's two. I'm dead. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm hit him. Good shit. Good shit, boy. You're dead. Make sure you clear the other one. Loaded. Loaded. This was the break we needed, and using the cover of the dark, we ran straight back to the safety of our one door base. Not to turn my torch on when I get close to see if I've actually got a door. Oh, we've got a base still, buddy, so... Let's go. That win was huge, bringing us vital base building items which we desperately needed if we wanted to move out of this area. But where were we going to move to? Well, for my design, I had a vision in mind, and part of that vision was building inside of a church, mainly due to how cheap they are to seal off, and when they're done properly, these buildings are bulletproof, making it a ridiculously strong building to have a base in also fitting the profile of what I wanted to do quite well. But since Lopatino was clearly off the cards, the next best church for us to lay low in and build ourselves back up again was a little bit further south in the town of Pustoshka. So we headed over to see if it was free for the taking. We've arrived. We should see if there's any big bases here before we move in. Engage it. I think there'll be one on this red brick because there is one on this red brick. Yeah, there is. Okay. Let's see, is this taken? Doesn't look taken. Can hide flags really well in here though. I just heard storage opening and shit, I think, as I run up. Right. Guy on me. Following me. I'm on him now, he lives in the church. I missed him. He's dead. He's dead. He had them on ground. And I ruined it. And that's so unflick unfortunate. He had loads of Pokemon cards though. Interesting. Very interesting. Damn. Well, that church is out with the question, buddy. I don't think we can live there. <laughs> Fuck. No. Kind of unfortunate. Oh! He doesn't have a base in here. He was just in here looting. He's got a statue in here. He's trying to build in here, bro. We need to secure this right now. Surely there's more though if he's got that. Oh, Niels, Niels, yeah. Oh my god. And the logs are here, flagpole. Have you got anything on you to claim it? We had just caught a player in the middle of securing this church. And well, we had been through way too much to give up this spot now. But we had left all of our tools and supplies back in Lopatino. And all we needed to secure this new church was a hatchet. So while Nipson ran back to Lopatino as fast as he could, I got to work on securing this new location for ourselves. But while this was all happening, we were about to make quite an interesting discovery. You see, on his run back over to our old base, Nipson had noticed the clan talking in the side chat. And that's when... Bro, it was definitely them. They just said, why didn't you finish the flagpole? You had everything. You're joking, bro. It's finally nice to be able to put a name on the clan who we've been fighting this entire time. Me Tokyo. 
and by the looks of it, we had chose quite the clan to mess with. From the side chat, Nipson had managed to confirm our suspicions and narrow it down to them being at least seven deep. But for now, all we needed to do was secure this new base location. So when Nipson returned, we got straight back to work on laying down some new foundations. Meaning now, Tokyo hopefully wouldn't know where to find us. And well, if we can keep it that way for long enough, the next time we meet, things might just be a little bit different. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, bro. Well, we still have a base, so that's a W. To a pleasant surprise, our new base location had survived the night. Though, speaking of raided bases, Nipson was on a little bit before me and had stumbled into a recently raided base on the coast. So I wasted no time in respawning to check it out. Food in there. There's no way that was a one dollar raid. Bro. What the f are these guys doing? Oh, gun walk with guns. Oh my god, bro! Wait, That's fing loaded, mate! You know what they say? One man's trash is another man's treasure. And there were some really useful things we could do with ya. So, grabbing everything of value and inventories full, we headed on the long run back to Postoshka. But with JB logging in and a few more code locks to add to our collection, I got to work on adding a couple of more doors to our new base. So the problem we've got with vanilla is you're very restricted when it like compared to modded. Um, obviously we only really have two options of builds, we can have a fence or a watchtower, so we're going to have to really get creative with how we do this, but that is part of the challenge man. Okay, that works. And that works. Well, the base is coming along nicely, man, but we do need some more wood, so that's the next plan. It's like nothing, man. Guy me. No. But he was loaded. <laughs> he got the fright of his fucking life there. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> he got a fright. I got a fright. I was hoping he would have died a lot quicker with that gun, but fuck me, he's used all the bullets <laughs> to kill him. After getting hand delivered a free gear set, I got back to work on fortifying our new home, while JB headed out on a run to try and gather some more building materials. He got the biggest fright of his life there, that was so funny. Oh my god. What guy? Easy kit though. Now, I think we should get to work on stacking some gates after our little peaks. I've done what I can with the peaks of vanilla, you know, we need to be on it if we're getting raided. You just need to be really playing your life, like, I've given, like, peaks that you wouldn't be getting given normally. <laughs> so, we've got to make them count, you know what I mean? You can move over to this corner as well. You can just, ah, oh, bro, it's so good. It is so good.
That's found a drivable Humvee. Off, bro. It needs a it needs a battery and a glow plug. Where? Down here at uh, Belota. Oh my God, I'm coming. A working Humvee. Something that we could really utilize right now and something that would make our lives 10 times easier. And we actually had some parts in base to get the Humvee running. So, base building was back on hold for the time being. Hank is still alive. Somebody has tried to kidnap him. There's a guy on him right now, actually. Ah. Oh. He's dead. Good shit. Right, where's the little Hanky? Hello, Hank. Descendant of Henry. Descendant of Henry. <laughs> Hank the first. After a roller coaster of a ride so far, things were finally starting to look up. But it wasn't over just yet. With the server reset right around the corner, we headed to the edge of the map to safely stash the car for the reset. But we couldn't have imagined what would be waiting for us when we got there. That's a good place to sit for a reset, don't you? Yes, sir. Here's the glow plug. That's you, Joe. Big wins, I guess. I'm gonna go hide up here. There's nowhere to. What the what fuck? The fuck? <laughs> you couldn't make this show. <laughs> you couldn't make this show. Hey, hexos. What do you think? We've got hexos on me now, bro. This could be loaded. We've got two hexos. Oh, it's one there's door. Only a lean two in there that I can Ooh, see. I can get in that, anyways, bro. I'll show you right now. Do you wanna see? It, right? Oh, yeah. Loaded. Watch. What's in the top ten? Oh, stuff, bro. Nails. Bro, stuff. That fake guy one. What's down there? So what? They've done the block. Okay, I've got an idea. Right. Oh my god! Oh my god, bro! Oh my god! Loaded, mate. Actually loaded with stuff. Two boxes of nails, two keys, three keys, hold off. After filling Hank up with as much loot as we could, we headed all the way back home to Pustoshta, where I wanted to put all of our new materials to good use and continue fortifying our base. Right, buddy. Balling, man. Boom. So of course, it wouldn't take long for another distraction to come along, this time in the form of a heli crash. I'm going for that. I'm in with. That That's close. Really close. Landing right next to our base, and wanting to keep this momentum going, we couldn't resist heading over to check it out. Oh, I see it. Player. Where? Out here at the barn. He's running to the heli crash. He's running left to right from where I'm looking. Where I ping. Yeah, he's on. Okay. He's uh, he's in the open now. Honestly, I'm gonna go and sit on the heli crash. I think and let him come close. Yeah, I can't run to it. He's gonna see me. He's looking at the heli crash. He stopped. He scoped in at the heli crash. Is he shooting at you? Yeah. He's past this crest of the hill, like by that tree line, kind of. He's not. He 
dead. Unless there's another one. There's another one. There's another one. Shots behind. Yeah, and they're on the move. There's a kid in the field to your right, Zodak. You see where Matty is? Uh huh. Yeah, there's a kid right over there next to those hay bales in the shed. Just shot at me. Yeah, he is. He's shooting at me. That's him. He's suppressed. He's in this tree lane. Right in front of me. He's hit. I'm hit as well, my friend. Okay. He's dead. That's you shooting, yeah? Yeah, yeah he's dead. He's full dead. Get a suppressed R700. Honey Badger. Three mag spell. Bunch of ammo. And pumpkin these live close. Then shot at. Depressed again. I know where from. Found him. I see him. Better kill them. Not 100% sure. Another guy. Hit him. He's dead. One dead. I need you, bro. I'm coming. I'm just trying to get out of this place, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. I'm just fighting in the squad of them by right. myself. I see him. I see him. He's just ruined a gun. He's ruined a gun. I push his buddy's body. I finished him, though. So his buddy's dead, dead. Body. He's gonna be covering it. Oh, I'm hit. I'm uncon. He's close. Fuck. He's gonna finish me. I had to take a shot. I'm dead. I'm uncon, mate. I'm dead. Somewhere else. So in the end, I got picked off as well. But it was apparent in this fight, this big group all seemed to be coming from the same direction. And I was a little bit curious to see where they were coming from. So on my run back and land, I headed over to check it out. This base is intimidating, I'm gonna be real with you. Please, I'm sorry, you know, you make the base owners angry, man. <laughs> that base is scary. It seems we have big bases surrounding us no matter where we go. And it was clear we were the underdogs on this server. So after seeing this monster, I think it's probably about time we get to work on finishing our base. Yes, who? That's one tunnel done. And after countless days of building, I had finally brought my vision to life. But the reality was, there was just nothing we could do if any of these bigger groups wanted to come and clean us out again. We just didn't have the capacity or the numbers to form the materials at the same rate as them. When you do look at some of these bases, it's clear why these bigger groups thrive in the scarce lands of Chinoris. So that left me asking myself, how could we become unraidable when living in a land full of giants? And the truth is, you can't. Not without breaking some rules or exploiting the game in some way. But with a little bit of deception, I do believe this base is the closest I've came to reaching that goal. 
You see, while everyone else is still building kill tunnels with crazy angles to hold, my secret weapon against these clans was a maze. Sealed tight, there was no weak points on this base when the flag was fully raised. And with gate stack tunnels, the raiders would be left constantly guessing on which way they'd have to raid into our core. And even when they got there, I don't think they'd get very far. This had been one hell of an adventure, but despite all the restrictions, I still think this is the closest you could get to being unraidable in DayZ. Though, this is where things take a dark turn. You see, while I spent the last few days building our base, Nipson had been talking to our old friends Tokyo in the side chat. And well, I'd missed the majority of this conversation due to playing with my hood off. But Nipson was trying to get Tokyo to show us Alfie the Ada in their compound. But when he had arrived at the Lopatino Industrial Base to see the car, like normal, there was nobody to be seen. So, this was the events that followed. Yeah, that wouldn't be us. I'm so confused. Bro, who raided within? I don't, I don't know. South. The better industrial south, there isn't a better into. There's no way he lives in Vibor Industrial. Southeast town from where it's Vibor. Bro! This whole time, we thought we had moved away from these guys in a bit to build back up again. But as a matter of fact, we'd been living right under their noses this entire time. So, just to make sure, Nipson headed over to see if our worst nightmare had came true. Oh my god, okay. Okay. Hey, you have a good one, bro. This was them. And Alfie the Ada, alongside all of that loot, was sat behind only a couple of doors. But this base was a monster. And maybe this time, we'd bit off a little bit more than we could chew. I want to try and get Alfie back. I mean, look, I'm going to be real. I don't think there's any fucking hope in hell we're going to be able to raid them. Like, do nah. any sort of damage. Like, they could have a hundred doors behind that more. They probably do. Yeah, our, our only shot is just taking the car back and driving off in it, honestly. It is going to be close, but I think we've got enough. Oh my God. Okay. You see, the one thing these bigger groups fail to realize that not everybody gives up that easy. If we were going to go down, it was going to be on our own terms. And we wanted to go down with a fight. So what better way to test out the strength of this design than giving our antagonists another reason to take our doors. Except this time, I had pulled out all the stops. And I was confident we might actually be able to pull this off. So with everything on the line, we headed over to visit Tokyo one last time. Okay, boys, I'm locked and loaded and ready to go. Fat Juicy Boy, I got a lot of stuff on me right now. Right, this is it. Let me get Alfie back. We're ready, yeah? Yeah, let's go. That sunrise is insane. It's a good omen. Boss, this is like a really sketchy one as well, man, being that close to an NWAF. Like, you're yeah, literally yeah. a field away from BMC. Like at the very end, if there's anyone in the vicinity in the yard, they're gonna be pushing, you know? I'm hoping we can get away without using the grenades. Yeah, I am as well, to be honest. We better have Alfie, I'm gonna be so upset if they don't. It would make it through both drum mags, but I don't know on the server. Yeah, just watch it, fuck it. Yeah. Is so a gun jammed? No, it's empty. That's 90. No way. That was 90 already? Yeah, it's still pristine. Scary.
Yeah, this should be it. Go ahead and hold on. Only one gear, is it? Oh my god, it is. Right, we should get get cracking with this. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get the AK real quick, and then it's go time. Well, that is all of the five four five used up now. There's no car here, so I guess we'll just go ham now. I'm gonna drop grenades there, yeah. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, it should be the last one, right? Hey, it is. Okay, boys. Let's see what we're fucking dealing with here. Oh my god. So actually got raided. <laughs> did they? Ooh, Ooh, did, did they get raided? I'm gonna shut this blue door right here. Y'all cool with it? Oh my god, bro. I don't think these got raided. These are fucking loaded. They... We might actually be deep deep. Bro, look at the game. Look at oh the... my god, bro. <laughs> bro, with deep. We're actually deep. For the <laughs> amount of s fouls they have. What the f bro. What's this out here? <laughs> oh my fucking <laughs> god. It doesn't end, bro. It keeps going. Where are you? It doesn't end. It just keeps going. Oh my god, I might have just crashed, bro. <laughs> I'm so laggy. Oh my god, bro. What? what the <laughs> like, what the fuck? They've got 200 and odd keys. Oh, I'm scared to look in here. Oh my god, the ammo, bro. Scared to check these back rooms just in case, but you know, fuck it, there are. I'm a freak, I'm an outcast, I'm a shadow. I stand with a lost soul. What is wrong with these people, man? Another. It just doesn't end, bro. It doesn't stop. Anybody who thinks they're loaded, you're not. You never were. Yeah. You're, just, you're just not, dude. You're just not. Right, I guess. Ooh, this was the juice locker. What's in it? Had a purple key card in it, bro. Level four. As if they logged with the juice. Unless the way just that loaded, bro. I just caught them in like the perfect thing. We just weren't sure what to make on any of this. Simply because we couldn't believe that they went to the extent of building the base this big and filling it with so much loot to leave it so open and exposed in the end. But I guess we'll never know why. And maybe we did just catch them at the perfect time. Actually insane. As my buddy JB says, Well boys, you know what they say. You win some and you lose the rest. You win some and you lose the rest, buddy. Let's go, boys. One of the biggest bases I've been inside in a long time. Especially for vanilla. That base was massive, dude. So much from vanilla.
somebody like me gonna need somebody like me